the Ford Sports Desk, KOMU 8 Sports. Good morning, Mid-Missouri. Mizzou is not the only Missouri football team kicking off its home football schedule this weekend. The Kansas City Chiefs opened their season yesterday at Arrowhead Stadium, starting play against division rival San Diego. Chiefs split with the Chargers back in 2015, looking for a good start to the year yesterday. Chiefs up 3 to nothing early, and Chargers running back Melvin Gordon is going to get his first career touchdown. San Diego up 7-3. to three. Soon after, Gordon's going to take another one in for his second TD of the day. Chargers widen the lead to 14-3. to three. Still 14-3, to three, Phillip Rivers is going to hit Danny Woodhead wide open in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. Chargers pouring it on out to a 24-3 lead, but the Chiefs would be on the comeback trail, though. Alex Smith to former Mizzou standout Jeremy Macklin for the touchdown. 27-17, Chiefs down by 10. And with just over a minute left in regulation, Spencer Ware ties the game at 27-all on a run up the middle. Chiefs ride that comeback trail all the way to overtime. On the first drive in OT, Alex Smith takes it himself and leads the Chiefs to a week one win over the Chargers. Kansas City rallies from 21 points down in the second half to pull off the biggest comeback in franchise history. Chiefs win 33-27. When the football season starts, it's a sign the baseball season is coming to an end. The St. Louis Cardinals have some work to do to make sure they're playing into October along with those NFL teams. They came into Sunday with a half game lead on the New York Mets for the second wild card spot in the National League. Cards at home finishing up a series with the Brewers. Cards rookie Luke, we Luke Weaver in trouble in the first. Chris Carter sends this one out to center. That'll drive home the first run of the game. Brewers up 1-0 early. Now in the fourth inning, still 1-0. Randall Gritchick is going to make a fantastic diving catch out in center field. Shades of another number 15 for the Cardinals. Jim Edmonds out there in center. And uh, the Cards would attempt to come back in the eighth. Matt Carpenter is going to score on the Stephen Piscotty sack fly. Tie game at one all. That's Piscotty's 81st RBI on the season. Cards trying to come back again like they always do. But it would not be that way for long. Ryan Braun is going to hit a go-ahead homer in the ninth inning. That's his first home run against the Cardinals since 2013. The Brewers win 2-1. to one. St. Louis falls a half game behind the Mets in the race for a wild card spot. The Royals may be running out of time as far as reaching the playoffs again this year goes. KC is way back in the divisional race and has several teams to hop over in the wild card race with just three weeks to go in the regular season. Royals and the White Sox remembering September 11th before yesterday's game. Pick things up in the second inning. Kendry's Morales is going to take Sox ace Chris Sale deep for his 27th homer of the year. Royals up 1-0 early. Later in the game, Royals third baseman Chesler Cuthbert He's going to make an outstanding diving stab here down the third baseline. He's going to get up, fire over to first. And this scoop by Eric Hosmer might be as good as the play by Cuthbert. Highlight reel out by the Royals. Now in the sixth inning, Eric Hosmer liked that Morales home run so much earlier. He's going to take one deep to left as well. His 23rd of the year, Royals up 2 to nothing. Royal starter Ian Kennedy was dominant in six shutout innings yesterday. He only allowed one hit and struck out six White Sox, including this strikeout here in the sixth. And then Wade Davis would come on to close it for the Royals in the ninth with a couple men on base. He gets Justin Morneau swinging to give the Royals a two to nothing win. Kansas City now sits four games back in the hunt for an American League wildcard spot. The U.S. Tennis Open wrapped up Sunday night in New York. The men's final pitted Stan Wawrinka against world number one Novak Djokovic. Wawrinka is victorious in his two previous Grand Slam finals and beat the world's number one player both times. Could he do it again? Let's go to Arthur Ashe Stadium, the site of Sunday night's final first set. Wawrinka is going to go long here to give the first set to Djokovic early on. But the tide would turn. Djokovic is going to give it right. Return the favor here to Wawrinka in the second set. He goes wide, tied up at a set apiece. Now in the third set, we'll pick things up in the middle of a fantastic rally between the two. Djokovic goes wide again, and Wawrinka gets the third set. He is pumped up after this one for sure. And on the championship point, Djokovic, another unforced arrow. He goes long again, and Stan Wawrinka is going to win the 2016 U.S. Open in a nearly four-hour match over world number one Novak Djokovic. It's Wawrinka's third career Grand Slam championship and first U.S. Open title. 
Now, I'm glad I got some tennis highlights in there. One of my favorite sports to watch, for sure, and really favorite sports to play. I think the good thing right. about it is you can play it no matter how old you are, and everybody can look at least somewhat competent. Is that true? <laughs> I think so. No, tennis is going to be You've never a played one. with me. All right. My goal is, can I hit the tennis ball over the fence? Oh, wow. That That's is, a great goal, Meg. It is. Tennis, That's yeah, I, that tennis. Is, I don't feel like it is for the young, but I suppose if you slow your game down, yeah, you can. Table tennis, compete. maybe. <laughs> Looks like a tough one. Thank Thanks. you.